So today on the Beam channel, I wanted to talk to you about should you choose Erlang or Elixir for your project? So assuming you have a Greenfield project, the question is, should you choose Erlang or Elixir? And the short answer is, it doesn't matter. But before that, we get into the details, I wanted to say, if you choose either and would like my help, I would be happy to come to your company and give a training course on either Erlang or Elixir. Should you, which one should you choose? In general, right now, as of December 2018, I would recommend Elixir, but it's not a hard recommendation. So the question is, is there things you can do in one but not the other? Not very many. From a technical point of view, the only thing you can do in Erlang but you can't do in Elixir is write a recursive anonymous function. Turns out that's something you end up doing very often and Elixir has lots of any other ways to solve those problems. So that's not the issue. The real issue is culture and community. And I think right now there is more interesting work and more development and more developers working in Elixir than in Erlang. So if you like the Erlang syntax, and I actually happen to, then go for Erlang. It's not a terrible choice. If you prefer the Elixir syntax, go for Elixir. I should also point out that in newer versions of Rebar 3, compiling Elixir modules is getting better support. So it's entirely possible to have some of your code base in Erlang and some of it in Elixir and have things just work together. They are fundamentally using the same runtime and the same structures. So which would I choose for a new project? Elixir? Probably. Would I think you made a horrible choice if you chose Erlang over Elixir? Definitely not. There are a few other things that are, haven't made it to Elixir yet for Erlang in terms of prop check and things like that. Uh, Proper has some features that don't work in Elixir yet, if at all. However, I feel like the, the community around developing web applications is much better in Elixir. So thank you. I hope that has been useful to you. If it is, please like and subscribe below and please leave me comments and questions below. You can also get in touch with me via LinkedIn, Twitter, or the Calendly link.